And let's get it on, ladies and gentlemen. I am so interested in this match. That's right. We have Ludmilla Samsonova from the Federation taking on Elena Rabakina, born in Moscow, now a resident of Kazakhstan. Now, Ludmilla owns a head-to-head -head three love. She has dominated Rabakina. Beautiful day in Beijing, China. We are at the China Open. Now, the winner of this will take on Iga Fiantek in the championship match, Ludmilla losing the last couple matches to Iga Fiantek. Now listen, that would be a very interesting matchup to see the adjustments that Ludmilla could make if she gets past Rabakina. Now Rabakina, we all know, has dominated Iga Fiantek going back to juniors, beating her five out of six times. That's right, Elena Rabakina, you have to consider the favorite to win this tournament if she can get past Ludmilla. Now, me personally, listen, I took Ludmilla on the alternate spread. I think she can win this match. Ludmilla is stretching the court beautifully right now. And the taller player, Rabakina, I feel, is going to have problems. Rabakina can win this match, though, but I think she's going to need at least 10 aces to win this match. If her serve is off, she has no chance to win this match. So if she's healthy, Hey, she's going to put up a good fight. But if Rabakin is not healthy, she's going to be in trouble. Why? Because Ludmilla has a great forehand. She can stretch the court. It's really tough to return that forehand once she finds her rhythm. But she's also mixing in the short balls, the drop shots. She is getting opponents off balance, keeping them second guessing and not letting any of her opponents develop a rhythm. You saw Yelena Asabenko not even bother to run after a lot of those balls. But taking on Rabakina, who, look, she literally had two matches that she won in basically an hour. Queen win, Tatiana Maria. She is destroying opponents. Now, the world's rank number five. Yes, can she go for her third master event of the season? We saw her win the Indian Wells. She attempted the Sunshine Double, but fell short to Petra Kvitova. Listen, guys, she then went to Rome, where she took out Iga Fiantek and Anne Helena. And can she make it a third Masters event, beating Iga again? Get your popcorn. This is going to be a good match, ladies and gentlemen. Tennis in a minute. Like the video. We'll be right back.